almost live from Diamond City. I'm your host, Travis. No, not. This is Diamond City. Good things around here. We're splitting all that, right? Here's a throwback to simpler times. Well, folks actually went looking for radioactive material. Huh. It's Elton Britt with uranium fever. Doors chained up on the other end. Get some, motherfucker! What the fuck was that? I don't know where they are! Over there! Get them! Hey, who's there? Nothing there now. Girl, you picked the wrong fight! Safety off. I think we have company. Landing you can walk away from. Scanning. Scanning. Accessing pre war records. Record found. Driver's license S9132886264. Lawyer. Ahoy there, citizen. You are hereby conscripted into the Congressional Army. You're doing what? You don't have the authority to do that. We are in desperate times, madam. Proclamation 22 allows all crew members to conscript citizens for the war effort. The captain requests your presence on the bridge. Cut the double quick, madam. Away from. Hey. What do you want? Hey, is something the matter? Your thoughts? Always knew there was something special about you. Glad I found it. That was it. Sure.
Where's that smell coming from? This is the captain speaking. We're taking on an allied soldier. Clear the boat. Patrolling. Disable the fences. Make way. Is well. Patrolling. Identified. Intruder. Intruder. Mr. First Mate, this is the captain. This soldier is no intruder. Requesting permission to use lethal force. Whoa, whoa. Easy there. Yar, matey, hoist the sail. Way anchor. <laughs> is this for real? Unable to comply. Standing down. Permission to destroy intruder. Heads up. Denied. If something's on your mind. I'd love to hear about it. Your thoughts? Keep leading and I'll follow you. That was a deal, right? That's all for now. Bye by me. Standing. Landing you can walk away from. Hey everyone, Travis Lonely oh, Miles here, bringing you the type of news place. you just don't hear about every day. Captain. Where does that I'll have none of your litmus to navigator. Have the crow's That's nest scan two points off the port bow. Jump to it. Aye, Aye, Captain. Our soldier has arrived. I trust the first mate didn't give you too hard a time. Been too long since we've seen the congressional the army. Kind of firepower those guys pack. First good. mate? Congressional Army? Why are you talking like that? This is the pride of our Navy, the USS Constitution. As her commander, it is my privilege to enforce a certain measure of decorum amongst my crew. Why are you even here? On this ship, it's... it's ancient. This vessel has more than once been the seat of our great nation's naval power. Is it not fitting she don this mantle again? And you're in charge here? What? As ordained by the chain of command, the links of which start with our most august admirals and plummet to the lowliest of sentry bots. After all our brothers in arms perished, I reluctantly assumed command. Your lookout told me to come up here. Why? I confess, we need your assistance. You visit this fine vessel in trying times. He calmed these long years on her airy perch. Damn you, Weatherby Savings and Loan! I spit at you. How did it even get up here? Oh, this should be good. A harrowing tale of that, there can be no doubt. Or I should say, I assume it is. I came upon her as she is, atop the Sargasso Sea of rubble and misfortune. What vexes me most is my inability to assist in the war effort. 
My gun decks have naught but more rats and ne'er-do-wells as targets. Enough pleasantries. The Constitution has systems that need repairs to carry out its mission. If I help you, I expect part of the payment, up front. What a singular request. Were you in the Navy, I would remind you of your oath. But, as a soldier, I will authorize a performance bonus payable immediately. Consult with the ship's purser. Consult with the bosun and Mr. Navigator. They will relay your instructions. Dismissed. Look lively, lads. Scavengers approach. Soldier, man the cannons. Kill Heads up. As a last Need result. something? <clears throat> Hello, beautiful. That's all for now. Time on me. Patrolling. Defending the Constitution. Your very presence does this humble unit a great honor. My programming would find it amiss if I did not also interject. Long live the captain! Do you often just interject, as you put it? Indeed I do. I exclaim from exuberance, and not because I've been reprogrammed five times to wholeheartedly embrace these marvelous turns of phrase and anachronisms. My metal heart burns with a fierce love and affection for our captain. Huzzah! Why were you reprogrammed? Was the captain involved? I will confide this only as a cautionary tale. The captain requires all crew to speak in the proper idiom. We are the inheritors of a sacred tradition. There was a time I thought he was, well, balmy. But with my new programming, I see his incalculable wisdom. A last marine expedition valiantly returned with much needed supplies. Including replacement power cables, madam. Alas, with my severe lack of appendages, I find myself unequal to the task of repairing the cables myself. Can't someone else repair it? The rest of this crew is programmed for more martial pursuits. And they are, dare I say, useless in this endeavor. Oh, were I hale and hearty, but fate is a cruel mistress. How'd you lose your arms? They were stolen from me in their prime, with a full two centuries left on their warranty. The scavenger scum blasted them off me as I valiantly defended our ship systems. But the ship surgeon still with us. The ship had a surgeon? What happened to him? Sadly, he is no longer with us. Another casualty in our thrice classic war with the scavengers. He's passing. It's a terrible loss. Look around. The captain's vision brought us here, but it was the surgeon who rebuilt the Constitution. Now it falls to us to carry on his work. Once you have resolved this matter, I beseech you to return to me to accept my undying gratitude. Patrolling. <laughs> 